Raindrop Surgery Dry Inlay Create a femtosecond laser flap, 8 mm or larger in diameter, and targeted depth at 30% of the central cornea thickness. The corneal flap must be a minimum of 150 microns thick, and the residual stromal bed must be a minimum of 300 microns thick. Using an instrument such as a sibyl spatula to open the edges of the flap, break up tags of the interface, then lift the flap as shown. Folding the flap is not recommended. Once the flap is lifted, gently place the inserter tip onto the stromal bed. Use a second instrument such as a Sinsky hook to hold the inlay down from the slot of the inserter. Slide the inserter away while holding the inlay against the stromal bed with the second instrument. In this video, the inserter became a little dry at the inserter tip after multiple attempts at delivery. The dry inlay shifted back to the inserter nest as shown. It is not recommended to keep trying to deliver the inlay with the dry inserter as shown in the video. Prepare a second raindrop inserter and try delivery again. Using the second inserter, the raindrop inlay was successfully delivered onto the stromal bed. Use the elbow of the Sinsky hook to move by pulling, not pushing, the inlay to the center of the light constricted pupil. Visually inspect the raindrop near vision inlay for damage. In order to get the inlay attached to the stromal bed, Allow it to dry by letting it rest on the stromal bed for approximately 60 seconds without manipulation. While waiting for the inlay to dry, maintain the hydration of the epithelial side of the flap with BSS. When dry, the raindrop takes an orange peel appearance and blends with the stroma. Reposition the flap by placing a small amount of BSS at the hinge and stromal surface of the flap and then close the flap back with one smooth motion. Avoid any irrigation under the flap as this may cause the raindrop near vision inlay to become misaligned, damaged, or lost. Visually check to make sure the flap is in proper position. Using an eye spear, gently clean and dry out the excess fluid on the cornea and check that the inlay is still centered over the light constricted pupil. The raindrop implant is now completed.